it's time to say goodbye. And if you're still back in Oligan and Nobed, then you're letting your heart rule your head. He may be your legend, but he's no legend of mine. I wash my hands of him. He is not a legend in any way, shape or form. That was an embarrassment, a complete and utter humiliation in front of my very eyes. Losing 5-0, and it couldn't be more, by the way, to the Dirty Scouse bastards. And a change is needed. He should have been sacked at half-time. Moise only lost 3-0 against Liverpool. We, before half-time, were 4-0 down. 5-0 in the second half. None of these players are playing for Man United Football Club. They're not playing for the manager. You know, you look at the managers, like Thomas Tuchel, made the tactical change away to Spurs. You know, you look at Pep Guardiola, he made a tactical change at half-time against Burnley. You know, the best manager make the in-game decisions there and then. And Oli's not doing that. He's not up to um, the calibre. I'm looking for a, a manager that's going to break boundaries with this team. You know, pound for pound on paper, we've got the best squad that money can buy. But games are not played on paper. You know what I mean? Look at Pep Guardiola. Loses Torres for two or three months and he goes in the press conference and he goes, I'm going to find solutions to this. You've got to find solutions. I'm not going to not, just go, let's spend more money. It's ridiculous. And the goals we can see did is because of Pascal Seagull with hair and Porky Pig. We're not going to win a league title with those two, most certainly, in the team. But it's for ladies, for wasn't it, Top Reds? They could have been James, they could have been Jonah. You're going to put the blame on him tonight. I told you all he wasn't good enough. I told you he was not going to take us to the promised land. There's nothing left. He is the spawn of the devil. He's like a journalist because most of the drivel that comes out of his mouth is the kind of to a journalist. He should walk away right now tonight if he wants to salvage any, you know, prowess he has among the Man United fan base because I'm sick and tired of him. You know, and to those top reds, you can fuck off with him to Never Neverland. Because it's a fairy tale. You want Oli to be successful. You don't want Man United to be successful. And that's why me and them differ. You know, and over this is a wake up call to those top reds. You know, Sally got a bloody hat trick. He could have had more than a hat trick. They brought Manny in the second half. We were just poor all over the pitch. It was a complete and utter travesty. And I am not going to accept failure. And it is complete and utter failure. Go get Conte. Go get Zidane. Because those two managers will take us to winning trophies. You cannot win the league in August. But you can most certainly lose it. You know, and people go, oh, we beat Atlanta. Yeah, we expect Man United to have most of the ball and chances at Old Trafford. It's nothing new. So get it to grip of reality because we're slippy, on the slippery slopes of the scrap heap. All he needs to be sacked. You know, Arteta will keep his job. I know when I see Arteta play what I'm looking at. When I see Pep's team, I know what I'm looking at. When I see Thomas Tuchel, I know what I'm looking at. I don't with this man. He's an absolute cretin. He's a shitbag. He should not be anywhere near Man United. Nobody can back him after this. He's, he's treading water for so long now and he's poor. You know, his players are not playing for him. And when that happens, you're a recipe for disaster. And we are not going to get anywhere with this manager. And the coaching staff. He should have brought Graham Jones in from Newcastle. Change it up a little bit. But no, he doesn't do that. So I'm completely and utterly disgusted with what I've seen saw today, this evening. And he needs to be put to pasture, Ollie. Just go. For the good of yourself and the club, just walk away with your head held high if you can do that, and put your resignation into the Glazers, preferably tonight on Monday morning. I want to see when I get up before football, when I go, I want to see him sacked when I woke up. That great news, I want to see him sacked, and hopefully it comes to fruition tomorrow. We've been humiliated by Newell by Liverpool. This hurts like hell, and this really, really is a sad indictment of where Man United have been in the last eight years.